JavaScript is always changing and adapting, and there's some tricky parts in JavaScript that three new array methods help with. In the past, if you were to sort or reverse or splice an array, it actually modified the original array, which could lead to a lot of errors in your code. Well, now there's three new methods that you should know about to sort, to reverse, and to splice your arrays. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. All right, as you can see here, I've got a simple array with several names in it. If I go ahead and run this, you'll see it just says exactly what you'd expect, those four names in that order. Now, here's where these new methods come into place. Normally, if you were to go ahead and sort this, so let's say I came in here and said console log, we're going to take our names array dot sort like this. You'll notice that if I also console log this afterwards, it's going to actually change the original array. So it actually mutates the array. You can see it starts one way, and then after I sort it, it now stays that way. Because you'll notice down here, I'm actually sorting the array, but it's already been modified, which means it's mutating the array in place. That's where this to sorted method comes into place. So I can use to sorted instead, and you'll notice that now it does not modify the original array. So this is really helpful. Generally speaking, you try not to mutate things. If you mutate them, then it can be hard to kind of know what is the source of truth. So generally speaking, you try not to mutate it, and these new methods will let you do that. We've got the same thing. If I come in here, and instead of to sorted, let's do reverse. This reverse method is another one of these methods that's long been on arrays in JavaScript, but you'll notice once again that it actually will change the original array. We start it this way, we reverse it, and now it's been altered altogether. So that's where the next one comes in. This is called two reversed, all right, like this. And if I run it now, you can see that it starts one way, we reverse it, but it doesn't actually modify the original. It creates a copy, and that's what we're console logging. And then just down below, we see the original once again. All right, last one, it works very much the same way. If I came in here and I tried to splice, so I can give it a number, let's give it something like two. And now you'll see what happens is the very first one shows as you'd expect. Down here, you'll see I actually have modified the array, right? So I'm splicing it. In fact, I'm saying, hey, start at the second index. So zero, one, two, start here and go to the end. That's why I only have Chris and Samuel. Notice though, that it actually took those two things out into their own array. So it's created a new array, but notice it also modified the original one, right? So now these two no longer exist in the original array. So with something very simple like this, you could be modifying data without realizing it. And once again, you've got now a new method called to spliced. And if we were to do the same thing, you'll now notice that the original array is not modified. So these three array methods give you the power to sort, to reverse, and to splice. However, you do not modify the original array. In other words, they're immutable, not mutating the original array. Well, I hope that short video was helpful to you in understanding how these new array methods work. One thing to note is that these are all newly available as of 2023, so July 2023. So for the most part, you should be able to use them wherever you want to, so they're not like new, new. You can see two sorted, two spliced. We've got the same thing here. Looks like MDM now has ads, so that's a new thing. Uh, reversed as well, same thing newly available. Now they also will have polyfills down here uh, in CoreJS. So if you want to make sure that these work everywhere, you could of course install that polyfill. But for the most part, as long as your user base is on July 23 and forward, you should be set and ready to go. Hey, well, thanks so much for watching. I trust that was a help. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.